Hi, I'm Victoria Broom and Invincible TV are here at the premiere of the Britflix City Rats. City Rats is directed by Steve Kelly and stars Danny Dyer and Tam Hassan, who last worked together on Nick Loves the Business. City Rats is premiering here at the East End Film Festival. The story of City Rats is about eight lives that collide in a pop fiction style blend, which reveals London's true, dark and twisted underbelly. This is the story of London's lonely and lost, looking for redemption in each other and finding solutions in darkness and light. We're going to try and interview some of the stars from City Rats. Why did you decide to do the film? <coughs> um, have you seen it? Not yet. I'm hoping to tonight. Well, uh, for me and Danny, it was um, it was something we had to do. Uh, it was complete. It's completely different to anything anybody knows me for. Everybody knows me as the Playboy or Bill Fred or Leia Kay and these type lads movies. And when this could come along, it was. Um, I mean, it had no money. It was, it was a micro budget, not a low budget. And the script was so good. The writer was good. Steve Kelly, the director, fantastic director. Um, and it was just me completely testing myself as an actor, really. I mean, the, the, the film roles I get are kind of a no-brainer for me because, you know, I do them so well. And they're kind of me in real life anyway, not the villain side of things, but the big persona. And I'm a man's man in real life, and a lot of these roles are written for me. But um, I play completely the opposite. I play a, a, an alcoholic, suicidal, manic-depressive office worker. Mm. Once you watch the movie and you see how I've played the character Jim, um, you, you'll understand that he is in there and he's quite funny in areas and he's got his, he's got his crosses to bear and he's got his issues but people are pining not for him to, to, to jump because he, every day he goes up on the roof and he can't bring himself to jump. Me and Danny's done another movie called Dead Man Running with 50 Cent which is another lad's caper so you know hopefully I just want people to go and watch this one, enjoy it, see it for the performances, embrace it, don't take it too seriously and just see us in a different light. You know? That's a money because there's no money on it. Uh, I was just like the idea of playing an alcoholic. I wanted to try and change everything about what I do, my posture, the way I look at people, <laughs> and also got, gave me a chance to go a bit method. So, do you want to work with this guy again? Do yeah, we've got a film again? coming out at the end of the year. Yeah, he said Dead, Dead Man, Man Money with 50 yeah. Cent. So, yeah, we've done four movies together now. It's always great to work with your pals, yeah. bonus. So, uh, as long as it's quite different what we're doing and our relationship, you know, when in this movie, we haven't any scenes together. Yeah. Not one. You know? So, you know, it's. You know, for him it was a major thing because he needs to change what he's doing as well. And they gave us an opportunity to do that. Although we're still both cockneys in it, it's not necessarily about changing your accent, it's just changing about, it's changing, you know, just everything about you. Know, like what I said about posture. The three different ways in which you interpret sex in the movie was, was very, very interesting. And that's what kind of began to draw me to it. And that's what I think what drew the actors to it, is there was a real sense that they themselves could be dangerous in what they did. They could actually do something that they're not usually allowed to do, and they could try some stuff. And as a director, I try to do the same thing. You don't know you're always going to hear, but hey, you know, sometimes it's nice when you get a project and you don't just have to treat like a classic, let's make everything the way that everyone else does it. So let's try to make something that's different. Whether it's going to be hit or miss, everyone else will judge. But it was certainly a deliberate intention to make a more interesting, fractured, piece that was non-linear in the sense of a story structure you know we know story we know how to structure it but actually we chose to be different this time uh, and it was very interesting yeah have you got more products lined up have you got any yeah, more I've, features uh, that you're working on uh, I've just shot a movie uh, which I completed in January called The Shouting Man, which is a comedy, it's a road movie comedy of, uh, of, of 12 people uh, on, on, a, uh, on a journey of discovery and it's funny. So 
Okay, I just want to know what you thought, George. What did you think of the movie? I, I thought it was really fantastic. It was, you know, a low budget film, but what they managed to do with like, the low budget, some great moments there. The, the filming was great. Some re really captured some really powerful moments now. I was really impressed. Yeah, I mean, it had a very funny side as well. It was sort of a dark comedy, and although, you know, you left sort of slightly depressed at the same time, you know, you did, it was very funny at the same time. And the actors in it did such a good job. So, yeah. Would you recommend the movie? Certainly recommend it, yeah. Very, very tight script. Um, and there's a lot of humour in it. It's quite film. It's a really fantastic piece of art. Really good. Would you recommend the film to Definitely. It was, I thought it was quite original um, as films today go. It was a very accurate, um, beautifully filmed London, I thought. Um, and it was, I think it was about loneliness and uh, what's going on in the cities now. It was great. Beautiful performances and some very talented new actors. I think some of the names are people to look out for. Yeah, we enjoyed the movie. Yeah, it was very yeah. arty. Very I liked arty. how many different layers it had to it. It wasn't just obvious like most films are. And it wasn't <laughs> predictable at all. At all. It was quite deep. I'm quite deep. As much as I look like I'm probably not. <laughs> yeah, I'm to really deep. think about it. Yeah, you had to think about you. We love thinking, don't we? I thought the film was absolutely fabulous. I had a tear actually in some of the parts. Each and every character in it just really, they just acted so fantastic and it was amazing. Fantastic. I enjoyed the film immensely. Uh, I would watch it again. Um, I'm short sighted and so the graininess of the film hurt my eyes. That's all. I'm Tina. I'm Candice. I'm Millie. And we all thought the film was absolutely fab. We loved it.